After over 400 races in the NASCAR Cup Series spanning 15 years, Eric Almirola has announced he's stepping away at the end of this season. It was a hard decision. It was not easy to, to walk away from something that I love to do. And driving a race car is one of the coolest jobs in the world. But for me, my kids are getting to a pivotal age to where they're getting involved in a lot of their own activities. And I just couldn't see myself going forward chasing my dreams and my kids trying to chase theirs and us doing it on two separate paths. I couldn't see myself going another three or four more years and us growing further and further apart as a family. Almirola spent five full seasons with Richard Petty Motorsports and is currently in his fifth at SHR. He's always been seen as one of the hardest working drivers in the Cup Series and one who looks after his car. Well, I had no choice. When I was a kid, my grandfather made me work on my own race cars, work on my own go-karts, all those things. He was adamant that I learn it and that I be hands-on. And I, it really did change the way I approached racing because I had way more respect for the race car because I was actually working on it. I was helping wrench on it. I was helping develop setups. And so I've carried that approach into my career as a race car driver to where I'm willing to work as hard as I possibly can, study as much as I can, be involved with as much as I can so that I'm an asset to the race team outside of just holding a steering wheel. The 38-year-old won his first cup race in 2014 with two more coming so far with SHR. While he'll be looking to repeat last year's New Hampshire win this July, it'll be hard to top his perfect performance at Talladega in 2018. It's my first win for Stuart Haas Racing. It was the first win for Smithfield since joining Stuart Haas Racing. It happened in the playoffs, coming off of a race where I felt like I should have won at Dover and I didn't and then we rebounded and backed it up with a win at Talladega, and it catapulted us into the next round of the playoffs where we eventually went on to finish fifth in the points championship. So it was a phenomenal year, and that race at Talladega was a very pivotal moment. Almirola has made the playoffs every year since joining SHR and has had a positive impact on their younger drivers too. It's really neat for me to see the younger generation coming up, Cole and Chase and Riley. Those guys, they're so young. I remember when I was the young guy, and I remember the way I was treated by Tony Stewart at Gibbs and by Bobby Labonte and those guys. And then when I teamed up with Mark Martin and the way that he treated me and, and just the amount of respect that I had for those guys and that I tried to earn from them and the amount of information and leadership that they gave me was so crucial to get me to where I'm at today. So I enjoy having that ability to be able to help these guys. I enjoy that aspect of seeing them grow and mature in the sport. And personally too, you look at Chase, he just had a kid, right? So I'm nine years down the road on that. I've got a little bit of a head start, so I can shed some light on that and what that looks like being a new parent, trying to chase your dreams and career and all of those things. It may be a little mean to ask a driver to assess their own career, but Eric Almirola has few regrets. He's bowing out while still at the top of his game. I would say that I have done a good job in this sport. I wish I would have achieved more. I'm a very competitive person, so of course I wish I would have won more races. I wish I would have won a championship, but I scratched and clawed and just fought so hard to make the most of every single opportunity that I was ever given. There was so many things that stacked up together to get me to where I'm at today at Stuart Haas Racing. And I still have this year to go to try and achieve more things. But at the end of the day, the thing that I hope the most is that I'm just remembered as a genuine person, that I got to where I'm at today because I've made real relationships with people and that I have impacted people, not only professionally, but personally.